Hi guys, Adam here representing Narva Australia. I want to show you a great little tool. This is actually a multimeter. Multimeter actually we use for testing and checking electrical circuits on a vehicle and it's something you should really carry with you on every, uh, every four wheel drive in your caravan or in your toolkit for anything that you do really. It's brilliant to have. The main three main things that we're going to be using something like this for is to potentially to check voltage which is probably the most common thing. We can also use it to check the amperage drawer on something and we use the ohm scale in more of a sort of mechanical workshop space uh, where we're te testing sensors and stuff but I want to show you a really handy way later on on how to use this for in the ohm section as well. We do have to be careful when using these because especially on more modern vehicles uh, the, a lot of them have airbag wiring and that sort of stuff running through them. Things are very sensitive so when you are actually using a multimeter like this just be careful make sure you know what circuit it is that you're testing. Today's topic today will actually be uh, how to use a multimeter on the voltage scale. So I've got one over here that I've prepared. I want to show you through that. Have a look over here. Basically, what we have, and this is one thing that we need to be very careful of, is that we need to make sure before we use the multimeter that it is set up correctly. The negative here, or the negative probe or black probe, is always on the common. If you can see there, it says COM. Okay, always on the common, but we move the positive from either the voltage or ohm scale into the amperage scale if we're using it uh, on the amperage side of things. For the moment, because we're testing voltage, we leave it on the voltage scale. The dial will actually turn to whatever scale we're using. At the moment, obviously, 12 volt system on a car, so we're using it in the 20 volt scale. The negative is always grounded when we use it, so simply to just check this on a battery, we just put the negative on the, on the negative pole, positive on the positive pole, and it gives us the voltage of our battery. Right, positive on, negative on, voltage of our battery is 12.61 volts. This can also be really, really handy in application for checking fuses. Ultimately, again, as we said, negative is always grounded. If we want to check that this 30 amp fuse is working, we can go on either side of this, uh, this fuse and check and we can see that we've actually got, uh, we've got voltage on that scale as well. Guys, honestly, this, uh, this little multimeter is absolutely brilliant and comes in really really handy you can use it for a whole lot of other things as well especially when we're looking for spotlight wiring and that too but because of its versatility it's hands down really really good remember leave a comment below if there's anything you want to see other guy, other way otherwise guys see you next time